It's an annual tradition in the city of Troy. Runners hit the pavement for the 66th annual turkey trot Thanksgiving morning. For some, they run every year, but for others, it was a first. It's my first race, so I'm a bit freezing, and I'm from Georgia, but I'm excited. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to run the whole thing, but I'm going to finish it. It's a Troy turkey trot. It's great. But for those who brave the cold every year, they noticed something different this year, heightened security. Oh, it was good. It was good. I mean, it wasn't obtrusive, but it was it was there. I know the security is good here in Troy. I know the cops are doing their job, and I'm not really worried about anything happening here. Troy police say they felt maximum preparation was necessary for preparing security plans after the Boston Marathon bombings earlier this year. In years past, when the temperatures were a bit warmer, these streets were lined with spectators. Not so many this year, but regardless, police say they are up and down, sweeping for anything that could be dangerous. The race route itself has been swept considerably by our canines and our analysts. We've, we've been up and down this road probably 20 times in the last 36 hours, and anything that looked unusual, anything new that wasn't there the day before has been checked and cleared. Among the new regulations, backpacks were not permitted, and runners' bags carried onto the facility had to be clear. Runners waited indoors to keep warm. The cold also made things complicated for police. That's problematic for us because there'll be a mad rush to get to the starting line. Rather than if it was a more temperate day, we'd probably see the runners pretty much out there an hour before the race. But keeping up with tradition, no problems to report, and all had a safe and happy run. In Troy, Lynn Falsetti, CBS 6 News.